guys, how are you? It is fabulous Friday. Oh my God, it's also the last day of March. It is almost Easter. What the hell? How quick has it all gone? How are you doing? Talk to me. This is your time to check in. If you're ghosting me, if you watch but you never comment, stick a little ghost emoji in there or a thumbs up, something. Just let me know you're actually there and you're actually listening. There's a lot of members in this group, but there's not a lot of feedback and not a lot of chatting. So talk to me. Now, what I really want to know is, how have you got on this month? The whole month, it's been doing our triceps. We've been doing those wraparound triceps every single day. Have you done them every day? Have you done them more days than not? Have you just started? Talk to me. Let me know. Those of you who have been doing them either every day or regularly, how are you feeling? Are you feeling stronger? Has your technique got better? Can you see a bit of definition in your arms? Talk to me. I'm so interested to know. So as I said, we've done wraparound triceps every day. And then I've also added a core exercise. It's been some sort of twisting core. There's been something in there that every day we've done. So again, I would just really love to know how you've got on, how you're feeling, and have you got any special requests for April? Yeah, I've got, I already know what I'm probably going to do, but give me some requests. If there's something you really want to work on in April, I'll see if I can incorporate it into our daily change. So as it is the last day, let's do it. Now today, I want you to count how many you can do of these with incredibly good form in the 30 seconds. So your task today is count them and tell me how many you managed to do. All right. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure if, oh, I don't know, I might be able to do it. I might be able to time mine, actually. I've just put my other phone, I have two phones. I have a phone for all my music and a phone for going live on, and it's charging upstairs. But I might be able to do it if I put it on here. Maybe I could do it. I'll see. I might be able to. Yeah, I can. Right, come on then. I'm going to do it with you. So I'm going to get down on the floor. I'm doing that version. Some of you are standing, some of you are kneeling, some of you are leaning on the edge of the sofa, and some of you are on the floor with me, yeah? Come on then. Let's do it. And then let's just see, I need to look what the time is. Wrap it around, ribs are nice and strong. I'm gonna go, oh, that's really weird, it just stopped. <clears throat> Here we go, so down and up. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. I can't talk and count. Well, I sort of can. <laughs> Seven, eight, and don't rush them. Nine, think about your technique. 10, 11, <clears throat> 12. 13, 14, really squeeze back arm. 16, get tummy tight. 17, 18, 19, 20. So I did 20 with, I think, pretty good form. Now, normally you do the abdominals in the middle, but just because we're counting today, let's get this again and let's go. So there's my one, nice and strong. Two, three, I'm tucking in quite deep, four, Five, squeeze the back of my arm. Six, to come back up. Seven, keeping my spine in line. Eight, nine, don't worry if you can't do the amount I'm doing. Ten, eleven, it's about how many you're doing. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So there you go, I did 18 that side and 20 that side. So that's not too different. So try and count them, see how many you can do. You might surprise yourselves. And do you remember at the beginning we were doing a minimum of six or a maximum of 30 seconds, yeah? So now we're seeing how many we can build up to. So give it a go. Now, your core exercise, I've been giving you a different one and it would be due today to give you the, the one for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But as it's the first tomorrow, I'm gonna to give you a new challenge tomorrow. So for today, let's keep it simple. We're just gonna do mountain climbers. Now, how I'm gonna do these mountain climbers with you, I'm gonna do four fast, four slow. Four fast, four slow. Now, if you can't go into a plank position, don't speak, you're standing at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, twist, yeah? Or you can lean against the wall, see what I use my hoop, imagine I'm leaning against the wall and go, one, two, three, four, and the fast, one, two, three, four, yeah? Or you could have your hands on the edge of the sofa, or you can come down with me on the floor, you got it? So we're gonna go for one minute, let's just put that timer on, you ready? Three, two, one, go. 
slow. So we've got the one, two, three, four, run. Two, three, four, slow. And then fast. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> if you are here with me in a plank position, make sure your nose stays in front of your fingers. Make sure your bum isn't too high. And obviously make sure you're breathing. Now remember, I've given you lots of options that you can do today. You can do it standing. You can do it against the wall. You can do it elevated, whatever you want. But you can even just keep doing it like so. If you can't do the run, do it like that. It doesn't matter. You're going to feel it whichever way you choose to do it. Okay, and then come back down for the last 15 seconds. I can really, really, really feel my waist. There you go. If you were in a plank position with me, then sit back, stretch out like so. Oh, that feels good. Length that spine, release around the shoulders. There you go. So I did it with you in real time. Let me know how you got on. Oh, all out of breath. Please check in. Please talk to me. I want to know how you're doing. And, you know, just tell me, how has this month gone? Give me those results. Tell me how you did. And have a great day. See you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.